The secret to learning accounting faster. The secret to learning accounting faster is the learning of the implication of and proper use of Excel or some other spreadsheet program such as Google Sheets. Spreadsheet programs are clearly linked to accounting, but the association between spreadsheet programs and accounting is often not clear. In other words, spreadsheet programs are often thought as the calculator may have been thought of at one point as a way of cheating on a math test. In other words, many people have the idea that Excel is something that will be used in practice as a way to kind of give a shortcut to the concepts that we learn in school. But first, we need to learn the concepts before we apply the Excel to implement the shortcuts. This is nonsense. This is not the way to think of Excel, not the way to think of accounting. It's not the way to effectively go through and study for exams. Learning Excel, applying Excel, and using Excel to study is the most effective way to study for even paper and pencil exams. It may be the case that we're taking a course where we will have a paper and pencil exam, an exam that will include a paper, pencil, and calculator, but it's not the case that studying in the format of paper and pencil is an effective use of our time. Studying in a format of a paper and pencil will take a lot of time just entering data into a calculator and forming lists of numbers. Those things are easy to do. We don't need to learn those things. What we need to learn are the new concepts related to the accounting concepts. And we can do that much more efficiently using Excel. For example, when we think of a math formula in algebra, it's often a better way to go to write out that information with paper and pencil and then go through the steps in order to learn the algebra in a systematic way. This is actually easier to do in a paper and pencil process. However, when we think about accounting, we're not really doing long equations like this. Normally, if we have an algebraic equation, it's usually three numbers the accounting equation will have. What happens a lot more often is the need to group long lists of numbers in some way, something that is not difficult to do mathematically. It's not difficult to conceptually understand how to add up this list of numbers. It is tedious to do so with a calculator. So if we had a test question, for example, that had this list of numbers and we needed to add them up, it's not the calculator that would be called causing us the bottleneck. We can enter that information into the calculator. If we did it wrong, we can do it again. But practicing entering a list of numbers into the calculator is not a good way to study because it's not the new concept. It's not the thing that we are learning. It's something that we already know how to do even under pressure situations, even under a test situation. The way to maximize our productivity then when studying is to minimize the amount of time that we need to put information just into the calculator, just the data input. That's not where we wanna put our time and the way to do that is to use something like Excel. Using something like Excel, we can take of course a list of numbers, we can just enter the list of numbers in Excel and we can add them up just using one item, just using the sum function. This allows us to spend our time learning in the natural way we typically learn and that's with testing, that's with tinkering, that's with trial and error. For example, if we had to add up some group of numbers, I'd rather enter the group of numbers and let the system then sum that up with one click to sum that information up. If I want to know more information about it, if I want to add some more information to it, we can add more information to it and not have to worry about the sum up of the more information, not have to worry about the math, not have to worry about the calculation. If this number was wrong, we can change it to whatever it needs to be. The sum then calculates for us. That allows us the tinkering to be able to work with this, try to match things up, see what is actually happening. Even better than that are worksheets that have been set up to tinker with within Excel. So if we have something like this, we have something that lines up already, it adds up, we have the other side add up, we can see what the formulas are. We can see how this thing is constructed, how it's built, what the rules are, and then we can tinker with it. We can add another 500 here and see what happens to it. What happened to this number? What happens to this number? We can go through it and see if anything lines up. We can do the same, put the other side here and see how this lines up. What happens to this number? We can test these type of items. We can add them up very quickly by just summing them in this way and Excel will add up the sum for us without a calculator. That's what we want to do. We don't want to put our time in on the calculations because that is something that we can do very easily if given a calculator, although it's time consuming. We can put a list of numbers on a piece of paper very easily 
although it's time consuming. We want to see and visualize how to group the numbers, but um, the, the actual format of us putting those numbers on a piece of paper once we visualize the grouping is not the easy, is not where we really want to spend our time. And Excel worksheets really helpful to put our time where they should be spent, that being the concept. We do have accounting courses that do include Excel sheets, Excel sheets that are pre-formatted. So most of the accounting courses will have the information presented as most accounting courses will, but will also include worksheets, worksheets that are in Excel, worksheets that typically have at least two tabs, one tab with the answer to it. So you can see how everything's put together. You can see the concepts related to it and another tab that will have the excel sheet that is pre-formatted you can enter information to along with step-by-step -step instructional videos and you can use those to tinker with the excel sheets test them test the concepts and run through your own ideas with them